Hello, my name is Richard Jobson of TerraQuant Corporation and today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a rather complex problem using Palladian or now called Oracle Communications Operations Monitor. So I'm going to log in to Palladian and that's us TerraQuant. going to sign in and um, so I'm not going to give a demonstration of Palladian. Palladian is really easy to use and um, what I'm going to do is actually show you a, a, a typical use case, how to find the needle in a haystack, how to use Palladian to find a problematic call. So um, if I can just introduce ourselves in the next five seconds, we're a company based in Boulder, Colorado focusing on test and monitoring, protocol experts, speech quality experts and um, we actually add functionality to OCOM. Oracle Communications Operations Monitor is an example of something we've done um, more analysis on the states of recent uh, SIP registrations. So that's an add-on we've done to Palladian. So um, straight on to the problem in hand um, what we're going to do, say for example a user or one of your customers calls in and said says um, I had a problem two days ago uh, I was calling this party B uh, throughout the day with no problems uh, your caller your customer is a party A for example and he or she says um, I was calling throughout the day and uh, towards the end of the day there was one call uh, the call was good for most of the time but went bad towards the end of the call. In other words, got poor MOS score as it's called, mean opinion score or voice quality or speech quality. So how would you find that problem? It occurred two days ago. Here's how you do it in Palladian. And this would typically take you about 30 seconds. I might show you a few of the things along the way. Um, so this video might last a little longer, a few more minutes longer, but um, for example all the calls go into Palladian's database, you can go back 30 days in history and see the detail, you can go back longer than that, we're looking at a three hour span here, um, and um, so this particular caller said that um, he had the problem two days ago, so we'll go to the start time, shows a calendar here, so the problem occurred on Friday did it so now we're looking at all the calls on Friday um, which caller is calling in with the problem um, so if we could type his phone number in here that would be our phone number if you ever need it but um, this this particular caller, um, he said he was say he said he was talking for about five minutes or three minutes or more. So let's just look at all the calls that um, are at least that l duration in time. So say if, if you can see his phone number here in the caller column, then you can just right mouse click there and filter on it. So now we're going to see all his calls. Looking at all his calls, all these filters are anded together. So uh, we're looking at the call from last Friday. And uh, if you wanted to put in the call ed number, you would put it in here. Or similarly, you can just right mouse filter and select it here. It's called callee in OCOM. We might call it the call ed number. Um, so over here um, the caller said that uh, he experienced good call quality unt until towards the end of the call good call quality until it became poor say for example the MOS went uh, MOS is a scale as you probably know from 1 to 5 so very bad speech quality would be indicated by a MOS of less than 2 or less than 1.5 so if you put that in here and so 
This is how quickly we have zoomed in on the call of interest from a certain party to a given party at a certain time. Um, perhaps the call lasted for a long period of time until it went bad, if you wish to put that filter criteria in. Now we've found the call. We're picking up calls here that on average are good, but the minimum must dip down below 1.5. So this, I think, this is a call we w of interest. I'm just going to double click on it. Here we have all the physical segments. So this is coming from a, 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 an RTP leg from um, the SPC into a, a link device, um, and then going uh, off on appearing into connect probably a SIP trunk. So this physically will show you which physical leg had a problem. So you can isolate whether it's uh, on the access link, whether it's on the SIP trunk, on the peering side, whether it's inside your network um, between say an SPC or a PBX. Um, and then on this tab, Media Details tab, Ocom will give us um, a schematic, will take speech quality measurements, MOS scores, and packet loss and jitter every 10 seconds. So you can see that this call was fine, had a practical maximum MOS score of 4.41 throughout the call. But then in the last 20 seconds, two times 10 second period, it went bad on this particular leg. And uh, so we have our call of interest. Let's zoom down on the message flow. We see that it came in from this peering point through this SPC to the link device. Um, we see that there was RTP here with zero packet loss. And uh, similarly here, let's have a look at this leg over here for its packet loss and jitter and we can see that that was relatively low but on this particular leg um, packet loss was zero percent and so this is the leg that was responsible for the m poor MOS which dipped down to a MOS value of 1.42 on this particular leg coming from the peering. So now we've isolated it uh, the call and um, we know exactly which segment and stream of the call was responsible for the bad MOS experience. It was actually coming from the peering point. So I hope that was helpful. How quickly did we do that? Uh, solved a rather difficult problem with Pladian. So if you have any f further questions on Pladian, please get in touch with us. Um, we're here at uh, terraquant.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.